I'm so glad you could join me. Today, I'm going to be making fritelli di cavoli fiori, which is little fried things um, like meatballs of cauliflowers. So I've boiled cauliflower up in little bits and when it's just about tender enough to be able to put the fork through, you take it out, you take it off. So it's about half a cauliflower I put in um, with salt in the boiling water. Uh, sectioned it out and cooked it up and you can see you just put the fork through and it's ready. I put it on the tray just to cool it down a bit and I'm going to be using grana padano. I had heaps of that uh, and I put a little bit of pecorino cheese and grated it with it grated so much better it's fresher it's better. The grano padana, grano, grano, grana padano is a strong texture of cheese and so is pecorino. And I like the two because the fratelli need to have flavour. You need to have the texture of the flavour coming through. I've got two eggs. I'm going to put on there and I've got another egg just on the side just in case I might need three eggs. Parsley from my garden, chopped. We need salt. I've got this nice texture of salt. I run out of my Sicilian salt so I'm using that pink Himalayan salt. Pepper and we need flour to bind it. If you are gluten free, you can use gluten free flour in this recipe. It's quite a good way. It's vegetarian, not vegan, but I've done it, I've done it vegan for my son and it worked very well. And then you mix the ingredients together. I put about three tablespoons of flour in that, in this, and this is. I don't use like using spatulas. I like using my hands. So the ingredients are telling me that maybe two eggs is enough, and I don't need to use three. use three. And a little bit more flour. So four tablespoons and three eggs with half a cauliflower. Yeah. I want it to be a little bit wet. Perfect. I'm going to taste it to see. No, it doesn't need nothing. It's just perfect. Now we'll take it across the bench and I'm going to fry them. So now I've put them on the side and with a spoon, I'm placing them into some sunflower oil and letting them cook. Fry. So that's why they're called fritelli, little fried things. And these ones are made out of the cauliflower. So they're just taking their time. Look, I get, I've got a, this spoon, which is a really big, a, bit, a larger spoon. It's like a serving spoon, which works well when I've got to do fritelli of zucchini or um, cauliflower or potatoes, rice. There's so many of these fratelli you can make. And I'm just gonna come back. While well, that's there. And this is my first book. And you can see 
the fritelli of zucchini i've got two versions one with the uh, flowers and one of the cucina povera version with the organic zucchini so um, i've run out of uh, virgin olive oil and i decided to just use this, the um, sunflower oil which does the same the same thing in sicily we do cook with a lot of um, uh, olio di sema, so we call it, uh, sunflower oil. This one is my first book, Carmela's Cucina Povera, a journey of self-discovering and healing through Sicilian cooking. You can purchase this book on Amazon Australia and you just say the name, Carmela's Cucina Povera. And I'm sure that you can enjoy this uh, ancient recipe with your family. Ancient Sicilian recipe with your family. Oh, they're doing a wonderful letting them cook. And they've got to see, you can see the brown in colour coming through. When I finished, I will, um, we will go through it and you can have a look at the texture, how wonderful very easy recipe that you can make at home using making polpetti like they they like but they're called frittelli which are little fried things and you can use it with broccoli as well i've put done so many different recipes different versions of this but i like the cauliflower the cauliflower just has a different taste Remember to use the two different types of cheeses. If you can use the pecorino and the grana padano cheese, parmigiano, but you have to get a very aged, a uh, very old aged parmigiano, the parmigiano reggiano if you can, because you need to have that nice texture, that nice flavor. These are just like, they need to have flavor. So the more flavour of cheese you can put them. You could put even little bits of mozzarella and make them that's more stringy for, for the children, you know. There's so many adaptations of making these beautiful ancient old fritelli. I think this recipe is over a thousand years old. It's my family's recipe, which I'm sure there's many more different Sicilian people that have this in their um, family's recipe as well. Uh, once again, Cucina Povera recipe, but Cucina Povera um, should get Michelin stars, which I truly believe that it should because it uh, is um, ancient, old history. There's so many, um, such a, a wonderful story with Cucina Povera coming from poor cooking, um, and necessity is the mother of, in, of invention. When we need something, we become very inventive. There is a way that we call just uh, adapt to change. So we'll get through on the next video. So we're still frying here and I've um, had a look at this one. Beautiful, the flower binds it. So you can use gluten, gluten free flour. Oh, that. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Camellas Cucina Povera recipe. Very simple and easy, and you can do it. I'd say chuck about half an hour, not even. See you in the next one. You know, I had a thought. This is a very ancient recipe as over a thousand years old. This fritelli, little fried things that we just, I just did a video. So I just gonna wanna, um, using the grana padano and the pecorino together changes the dimension of it but 
what happens if we bring this ancient old recipe into the day to day? Gorgonzola and blue cheese wasn't even invented a thousand years ago. You can prove me right, right or wrong, let me know. But putting a gorgonzola or a blue cheese in that, wonder the dimension. And my son just said to me, Mum, what happens if you did a bechamel? Like, you know, when you do the, the bechamel and you do the, the, the cauliflower and you put it in the oven and you let it and you did it that way and change the dimension, and make it a bechamel instead. So there's so many wonderful, delicious ways that we can make these little fritelli. They're just made to be eaten, savoured, enjoyed, and they're very beautiful savouries. You can make them when you're having a dinner party, you're having guests over, a glass of wine, and a little one, just make them little instead delicious recipes that are ancient but we need to bring them forward today and they don't take long to cook but they are savoured because the textures of them are delicious and they're meant to be enjoyed with friends and family so and you can purchase the recipe on my first book Carmela's Kujina Povera, a journey of, of self-discovery and healing through Sicilian cooking on Amazon. On oh, my book, I put it that away. Yes, I have. But fritelli of cauliflower. Think about the delicious ways that we can eat them in with different ways. They are delicious. Reminds me of my nonna.